Hello and welcome in Teach Max videos. Let us move to the next part of analysis of pre-stress concrete members. So already we define exactly pre-stress concrete member, right? So we understand uh, the type of pre-stress concrete members based on sources, based on uh, sources of pre-stressing force, right? Uh, the alignment of yes, the position of the tendons with respect to concrete and all and all okay so mainly you have to remember that there are two type of pre-stressing member one is pre-tension member and second is post-tension member and both are bonded okay nowadays we are using okay so i hope you get this now let us move to the next part of pre-stressing concrete so here we are going to focus mainly on the pre-stressing system and devices which are used materials which are used okay why high grade materials are used in pre-stress concrete and of course we are going to focus on the three concepts for which are used for the analysis of pre-stress concrete members so let us go with this okay so pre-tensioning system and the devices are these ones so in pre-stressing uh, pre-tensioning the tension is applied to the tendon before casting of concrete okay uh, the stages of pretensioning are given here so anchoring of tendons against the end abutment this is the first step second step placing of jacks then applying ten tension to the tendons third step fourth step casting of concrete fifth step cutting the tendons once concrete become hardened okay so there are five stages we can say so this is the figure which gives the exact idea about the stages of the pre-stressing so here we applying the tension to the tendons after proper arrangement of t jacks and anchorage devices okay so one end the jack is provided and second end we pull the tendons through the jack okay so uh, like this way then casting of concrete is done and then the transferring the pre-stress uh, once concrete become hardened so automatically you will get the hogging stresses okay opposite stresses in the concrete so that once the con th that member we use for the structure so that super because of superimposed load the whatever be the stresses are developed they are counterbalance in this so i hope you understand this the advantages of pre-stressing uh, pre-tensioning over a post-tensioning are these one the relative advantage of pre-tensioning as compared to post-tensioning are follows pre-tensioning is suitable for precast members which are produced in bulk okay so mainly sleepers in railway bridges uh, a railway track okay so slippers of railway tracks are prepared also poles electric poles we prefer to so uh, the pipes are there okay drainage pipes so all these kind of uh, precast members we can construct by using pre-tensioning system okay so pre-tensioning large anchorage devices are not present okay so that is advantage okay so large anchorage devices are not required for pretensioning so these two are the main advantages of pretension member disadvantages are also there okay compare with the post tensioning so the see bulk production we can do by use in the factory but mainly where load is very heavy girders are there beams are there uh, slabs are there so there this pretensioning is not possible so a pretensioning bed is required for the pretensioning operations there is waiting period in the pretensioning bed before the concrete attain sufficient strength because we pour con casting concrete after pulling the tendon so that's why we need to wait for a period till concrete become hardened then there is there should be good bond between concrete and steel over the transmission length okay so that is important okay in case of pretensioning so this is mold if you observe here and these are the tendons right so these are pulled first okay and then concrete is poured into it so these, these this is anchoring of strands if you observe here in this figure okay so traveling of pretensioning stretch uh, stress bench means mold is given here so then 
if you observe here the hydraulic jack at stretching end is applied at the end okay so this is initial gap this is very important to understand the initial gap and this is end plate okay this one okay once we pull the tendon once we stretching the strands if you observe this initial gap increases means we provide the extension to the tendons okay so automatically pre stress inducing it so